Welcome, my friends, to our channel where we search the world over looking for unique and interesting gifts and, and products. products. I am Bob. And I am Alex. And together we are... Bob and Alex. Hey, you did it. All <laughs> right, today we're talking about top five things to look for in a golf bag. Um, we're going to start off by actually talking about the four types of bags there are. Sure. So we got two of them here. There's actually one step above this, and, and it's actually bigger than this. It probably has even maybe more compartments. It's called the staff bag, and that means that you're going to have a staff. Sure. Because you're because it's so big and bulky. It's so big and bulky. I mean, you're going to have a caddy carrying it for you, mm -hmm. or you could carry it in a cart, but it, it's it's a bag that a professional probably is going to sure. have, or someone that really is up on that level. Sure. Which I am not. Maybe next year, Bob. <laughs> yeah, not next year. Not. It's not going to happen. I'm one of those guys. How can I be so bad at something that I'm obsessed with? I just <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah. So this next one, this is the one that's really nice. My son bought this for me. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking this bag. Yeah. This is called a cart bag. It's made to be used on a, you know, a driving cart, like mm -hmm. the electric cart sure. or gas cart, or versus a pull cart. Sure. And that's what I use it on, the pull cart all the time. It's actually um, very surprisingly light. Yeah, it was I really mean, light. Yeah, really light for as bulky it is. And we'll get into the details of that, but it, it's got a rubber bottom, you know, so it's made to stay, you know, in the cart and not sure. slide off really easy. Sure. And it's got, oh, by the way, you know, like the strap for the cart can go through here instead oh, of squishing this down. Nice. So it works out yeah. real well with that. Yeah. So. And it's got the one strap to carry, throw it over your right. shoulder if you'd yep. like. Yeah, one strap. It's because you're just tearing, carrying it to the cart. Short so distances. Yeah, short distances. Okay. So this is called the stand. Stand bag. Do you want to show why it's called the stand? Sure. Because it's got the, the two legs here. And it stands up on its own. Right, and and show how they retract when you lift sure. it up here. You lift it up, and they, and pop, they go in. They pop away. If you put a little pressure on the bottom of the bag, and they pop right out. Yeah, you gotta be uh, a little concerned about these. Like if you tie them onto a cart and stuff, that you don't break the legs sure. yeah. and, and such. So um, now this these often will come with a double strap, or I mean, yep, yep, a, like kind of like a backpack. Yeah, backpack like a backpack. Strap. Strap. A little awkward to here. put on. He's going to show how it goes on here, the dual backpack style. Yeah, I'm not a golfer, so this is new to me. But it, and that's about it. It's, yeah. it's, it is awkward, and I, I've seen people that play with these. I mean, you definitely want to, I mean, if you're walking the, the course, though, you're walking a lot of miles, mm -hmm. and you got to, this is the most comfortable, yeah, it is but comfortable. it's a hassle putting it on. Mm -hmm. I mean... I felt like I was going to dump the clubs there. Yeah, and they almost did. I yeah. Mean, I mean, and I've seen people that use it. Yeah. That often looks like they're going to dump their clubs. That's just what you want to do, a newbie on the yeah, lines. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Clubs on the ground. You have to pick them all up again. So the last one is is actually called a carry cart or carry bag. And, and that one doesn't have the legs. And it's even smaller. And you, I, I don't know if you, they tend to carry all the clubs. I think they do yet, mm -hmm. but it's really small and really light. Sure. And so it's just a step less than this. It's sure. real, real bare minimum. Yep. So the things that I like, I'm going to go into some of the things, other things you may want to look at when you're looking at a, a bag. Um, the dividers is a big thing because now you're allowed to have 14 clubs. Now this one uh, on this bag, they actually, the dividers go all the way down. Sure. And the reason that's important is if you take two clubs and you put them in the bag, Quite often, what's going to happen is the the handles get caught. You know, like the three of them get caught, and, you, and you're trying to pull sure. the go on you. And you're, yeah. and you're just struggling to get them back on to, yep. together. So, um, in this case, what we did is we actually bought some tubes, the plastic tubes uh, that are made for this, and that keeps them separate too. Sure. But yep. generally, what happens is you pull it out, and the and tube you got the tube gonna, with yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's not as nice. It's, it's definitely nice to have the dividers that are there. Built in, yeah. Built in there. They also have an extra one for the umbrella. This is a spot right Ooh, here. Oh, nice. And generally, like, I put my putter on that first bigger one there. So sure. you know, putter and driver, because they're sure. two clubs that I use the Common, most. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, the straps we talked about, um, you know, either you're going to get uh, the, the dual, dual strap versus single. Sure. Um, and then pockets, there's, you know, there, there, you can really go crazy on pockets here. The one I really like. I like the magnetic pocket yeah. too. That was. That's what I thought nice. was cool. It, um, rather than having to unzip it each time, you know, when you're really upset because you hit a ball into the woods, you got to get another ball. Mm -hmm. you're like, you know, this actually has a little magnet. Just pull up, grab the ball, 
and it's back yep. again. So it keeps your anger level down, which is really important in golf. Yep. He said they even make pockets for beverages to keep them yep. in, like a built-in cooler. Yep. I, that's Insulated. what I would need. Yep. That's what you would need. That's the only one you need. Extra large. <laughs> Extra large. So um, they got a pocket for valuables. Um, sometimes those are lined with velour. Uh, but this one is actually <laughs> real deep, which I like because sure. you put your phone in there. Your wallet, uh, yeah. How many times have I talked to people and they lost their phone on the golf yep. course? Boy, that's just a scary thing. Yep. So um, the last thing that I want to mention is like it's it's nice to have a good solid ring on there sure. uh, where you can hook the towel. You can see I've been using that towel. Yeah, I see that. And, and a lot of times people have their brushes for cleaning the, the clubs. Um, and I just have some miscellaneous stuff here. So. Um, those are the five things I think you really want to look for. This bag by, in particular was, by the way, was $239. Mm. But I mean, man, to me, for as much you know, as yeah. I golf, it, yeah. it's really well worth it to me. What is it's, a little cheap, a cheaper bag? What would you say there? You, you could might get it for 50 bucks, 50 I, bucks, I imagine. Sure. I mean, you probably get this whole set for 50 bucks. Sure. Yeah. One of the starter sets. So. Yeah. All right, remember, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, subscribe to, us. to us. And if you have a new product, Send it to us. We'll review it. But remember, it's going to be honest feedback. Yeah, we don't tell lies here. No. So thanks for watching. Thank you.